Hello! How to avoid power factor penalties due to photovoltaic production in a building with photovoltaic self-consumption? In this video I will explain why photovoltaic production has a negative impact on the overall installation power factor and how this can be compensated by acting directly on the photovoltaic inverters. First, a quick reminder. The power factor is the ratio between the active power P expressed in kilowatts and the total power S expressed in kVA. The total power, therefore, includes the active power as well as the reactive power consumed by loads such as motors, transformers and some lighting systems. Energy providers require a power factor higher than a set threshold such as 0.9 or 0.95 at the point of connection to the network. Below these thresholds, penalties are built to the end user. Let's consider an installation which does not require power factor correction before the addition of photovoltaic production, as shown here. Now, let's add a photovoltaic system to this installation. By default, the inverters produce and inject active energy only. So, when the photovoltaic production increases, the active energy required from the grid decreases accordingly. And therefore, the power factor at the point of connection decreases, which may result in financial penalties. How can we overcome this problem? We can make adjustments to the photovoltaic inverter's set point, so that they provide both active and reactive energy. To do this, we need to add power measurement at the incoming point, power measurements at the photovoltaic installation, and a control system which calculates and communicates the set points to the inverters based on these power measurements. This method is very well adapted in terms of compensating power factor degradation by the photovoltaic system itself and with high accuracy. However, it's not efficient to compensate the power factor degradation due to the loads for two reasons. First, because solar production is only available during the day. And secondly, because the inverters are limited in the reactive energy that they can provide. Here, it's a concrete example of an electrical installation with loads consuming 200 kW active and 60 kVR reactive power. A target power factor of 0 0.93 and a photovoltaic production of 120 kW peak. When there is no solar production, the power factor on the grid is 0 0.96. With 120 kW active power production from photovoltaic inverters, the power factor at the point of connection goes down to 0 0.8, which is below the target. By modifying the set point of the inverters, the overall power factor can be adjusted to 0 0.93. To summarize, photovoltaic production, which injects only active power by default, negatively impacts the overall power factor of the installation. This can be corrected simply by managing the set point of the photovoltaic inverters so that they provide reactive power as necessary. Integrating photovoltaic production for self-consumption raises many technical questions from design to operation. More to come in our next videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon.